All right, guys. Uh, well, Beanstown just released uh, build 21, so I told you guys I would do a full install and review of his ROM. So I'm just gonna go through the the flashing process of the ROM using a uh, Torp recovery. What's great about this ROM is the the amount of customization you can choose just from before you even install the ROM. And using the Aroma installer gives you so many, many options that you can choose and pick what you want and what you don't want on your device. So he has the, uh, shows the change log right there. Nothing huge um, to this. A couple little uh, minor things like transparency settings and stuff like that. Big thing that it did was make TouchWiz launcher extremely fast and um, fixes a couple other things here and there. So let's see how this does. Uh, wrong. Always wipe data. I actually wiped through uh, Twerp. I wiped my uh, internal data first too. I always wipe internal completely uh, installing ROMs because I don't really care. That's what titanium backups for. To redo everything. There's no point. The cleanest you can do is always going to run the smoothest. So you can choose number of toggles shown. Show text. I don't like to show text. You can change the color of the toggles. Do it. You do white or the blue. The ice cream sandwich blue. Choose the recents that you want, and uh, your background color. I choose black because I like the look of black. Um, different email clients. Um, I'll do the TouchWiz stock for this install. I usually use Nova, but I'll just use stock for this. Um, choose your file manager. I'm going to do no file manager right now. Um, choose your different uh, SMS messaging app that you want to use. Keyboard. Use stock. No music that I don't want because I use a different I use Rocket Player for my music. Um, different uh, control app for multi window. This is new for Build Twenty One. This is um, either you can use the multi window complete control, which you go into the app and you only pick and choose what apps you want in the multi window, or you can have the native. It just pushes all of the multi window, all of the apps into the multi window automatically. I don't like that because then it clutters it because I only use the specific apps in that. I'm gonna choose the Google edition. I like the like that boot up. No offense to jelly beans, I love jelly beans, but I kinda like the Google. Just simple. Choose your sounds that you want. Then we have all the Google apps that you want to install. You can choose what you want to install, what you don't want to install. Um, Samsung apps. You want to use the all share button. I don't use keys, you can do paper artists, all that stuff. Pick and choose what you want. Verizon apps, what you want to install. I don't need the Dropbox. If you want to get 50 gigs free, you don't already have it, that's great. Because Dropbox is awesome for sharing files and everything like that. Choose. I don't like to do that ad blocking because then I, I can't turn it off if I need to turn it off. Flash player, terminal, I don't use flash player. I don't use terminal. And then you can choose your kernels. You got Beanstalk kernel, you got peanut butter and jelly kernel, Perseus kernel, Saber kernel, Bux kernel. And then you can choose your X if you want to use SD swap. I'm going to do Saber. I always stick with Saber. I'm not, not going to do this. And it's going to go through the install process. And I will be back when it finishes. All right, guys. We were at the start screen. Just ran through all the quick normal things. Like as if you flashed any ROM, all the setups, signing into your Google account, stuff like that. Simple stuff, just skip that, it's no point. So, um, yeah, this is it. And yeah, you can definitely tell the, the difference in the uh, touch whiz after he went through and sped it up. Um, all right, so we just have, I should pull that back. So this is the, the settings. I'm just gonna quickly brighten my thing up. So it's easier to see. So we're going to go back into settings, and now you have normal settings, under more settings, choose your network, stuff like that. Now yes, this ROM does come with mobile hotspot, and it works flawlessly. You can set a password and everything like that if you have unlimited data. This is, this is the best because you can just connect to anything, any of your tablets, any of your PCs, and just use your 4G high speed to run the internet off of. And it works awesome, never had a problem. It also comes with the NFC S-Beam. 
uh, all share, just like normal stock ROM. Um, and then you go down to custom settings. This is where Beans does all his magic in making our ROM fantastic to use. Um, so we have miscellaneous mods. You go under here. Long press the kill button if you want to uh, do this to kill an app. You can set that to what if you want the menu or just disabled in general. Home home double press. This is new for build 21. You can double click the home button, open S voice or Google Voice, whatever you have set for the main thing. Zero wave lag. This is pretty cool. We've had zips, but now he's built it in to the ROM just to check on and off. So if you want to use it, you don't like it, you can turn it off. Scrolling wallpaper. That's new to this. You can just turn scrolling wallpaper off and on. And that's pretty cool. Infinite scroll, you can turn on infinite scroll. Just like if you were using Nova Launcher, stuff like that. So he's definitely making the stock touch with his raw, uh, launcher much better than it is when it shipped from Samsung themselves. Then we have audio mods, uh, music control, control whether what the volume up, volume down button does when the screen's off, which is cool if you're listening to music, you don't turn the screen on, open the player app that you're using, and then go to the next song. This just as simple as pull down, up or down. You can choose which one does what. So gives you that flexibility because different people like the up and down to do different things. Uh, earphone protection. That's new for Audio 21 if you don't want uh, the volume to shoot up when you plug in earphones in. It automatically adjusts to a normal normal volume. Lock screen mods. Choose your lock screen. Um, it's got six of them. Acer Cloud, Stock Note 2 lock screen, Blackberry 10, AOSP lock screen, HD Sense. LG Optimus. This is awesome. Um, this was new in build 20, but um, it's again in build 21. Uh, so different people like different lock screens. I always stick with the stock lock screen just because it has all your shortcuts and everything like that. You can change the shortcuts. Um, you set the ripple effect. Um, then you can also do ink settings. You can change what color you want the ink to show up on your lock screen, which I love. Oh. You can see that's red now. That's awesome. You can just fool around on your board. Just touch the screen. Lots of fun. Go back. Um, AOSB lock screen vibration if you have the AOSB lock screen. Quick unlock if you have uh, password. As soon as you type in the right password, it unlocks. You don't have to hit OK, uh, which makes quick, uh, getting to pass the lock screen much faster. Samsung settings. This is only if you use the Note 2 lock screen. This is why I use it because you can set all the weather, dual clock. Um, the help text, quick access to your camera, shortcuts, you can set up whatever shortcuts you want to use. So now if we go back, we're just there, and now the clock options, clock style, right clock, which it is now, um, you can use center clock if you like it in the center, I like it in the right, keep everything crisp to one side. Uh, AM, PM, you can put a regular size, big PM. Or you can choose a small PM. I choose not to do it because I know it puts. I know if it's AM or PM during the day, uh, day of the week. Uh, you can choose a regular Sunday. I mean that's what day it is today. Um, small, raw, large, or don't show at all. You can choose the color now uh, to whatever you want, which is cool. I like to stick with the the blue so everything flows well. Now the status bar mods. We have the toggle settings. So this is where you change uh, all the widgets that show up here. Um, it's got all of them. So you can choose whatever widgets you want to show and what not to show. You choose the brightness modes. You can choose what different types they do by clicking on it. Sound modes, you choose what sound is on, vibrate, silent, or volume. Show alarm icon, if you have alarm set, you can have that to say no, I don't want the alarm to show, even though I know there's an alarm on. Uh, keyboard icon, if you don't want the keyboard to show up um, in the, the status bar when you use it, I chose not to because there's no reason. I don't ever switch keyboards. If you switch keyboards a lot, then that's what you want because then you can just click on that and switch it right there without having to go through your settings. Status bar, color, change status bar. Now you can, this is new with build 20, and it's again with build 21 here. All these different types of battery gauges, everything. This is just unbelievable because usually this is an AOSP um, specific, um, but now that he has added this, just makes sticking with TouchWiz so much better. 
um, all these different types of battery mods change on um, you can name the battery bar which some people always ask hey what's that what's that blue line across the top of my status bar because sometimes it's turned on when they flash or sometimes they turn it on by accident they don't realize it and then they go and ask everybody hey what's that line across my thing well that's just the battery bar if you don't want to use the battery the battery bar is there just so hey I have a general idea of where my battery is at because if it's at half of the screen obviously it's at 50 percent which is what I usually use because that way I can take the battery out of my status bar and give more space for notifications and stuff like that. You can change the thickness of that bar to whatever you want. Change the style, regular center mirrored, and animation when it's charging. It will pulse, which is pretty cool. Um, and so that's it for those status bars. We go back. So now that was just ROM control. Now we have custom app settings. So you have the S Pen keyboard switcher. Um, if you switch out the pen, pull the pen out, you can turn it to make it to handwriting, so you can write, and it will, when you plug it back in, it will go back to your normal keyboard, which is cool. Pi controls, if you want to use Pi controls. Uh, CPU control with Trickster Mod, if you uh, pick a kernel that supports it. Um, fast dormancy toggle, turn it off and on. GPS quick fix, if you have problems with GPS, that could be used. Most people shouldn't have problems because it's a touch of his ROM. Uh, GPS usually always works flawlessly. Um, it only has problems if you use a AOSP ROM, but some people never have problems with that. It all depends. Media battery drain fix. Uh, after you flash a new ROM, sometimes the media scanner just keeps on scanning and scanning and scanning, and this will help stop that if you have a problem. Dormant mode. Verizon takes this out of our stock ROM for some reason. Don't know why, because all it does is just block notifications from going through at nighttime. Um, you can set a quick thing if you on a stock ROM to get to it, but Verizon hides it from us for some reason. Um, so back into custom apps. So that's all that in custom apps. Uh, expose framework. Here's the installer. All you do is you have to install an update when after you flash the ROM, grant it, super user, and then it just says you gotta reboot type thing. And then you can have all your modules and these take effect after your reboot. Um, so you have the per app settings. These won't work right now because I haven't rebooted. And you can change specific uh, DPI settings for each app. If you just want to use a couple, I usually use these messages and a lower DPI so I can fit more messages in view. Um, theme engine. This is pretty cool. Um, you can use um, CM 10.1 themes that are custom made for this theme engine. And they don't all come out perfectly like as if you were on AOSP ROM, but most of them come out pretty good. I chose to stick with default because um, I just like the look. And if it's not perfect, it, some things bother me if it doesn't look like it should, which is what happens when you're they're trying to format it to work with this theme engine. So you just choose whatever theme. You got to find them online, and you just apply a theme. You got to reboot icon theme. This is pretty cool. Um, if you use a stock tuck switch launcher, you can't theme your icons like you can a Nova and stuff like that. What this does is allow you to use a Nova style theme icon pack and use it to your stock TouchWiz. So if you like stock TouchWiz launcher, then that would be that would be awesome because then you don't have to worry about getting Nova just to theme your icons. We have the Jelly Beans uh, over there add-ons. This is where um, you can get uh, ROM updates right here, which is pretty cool. You don't have to, don't have to worry about connecting to your computer. You can download it right on your phone. ROM mods. These are different things that he adds in between. Uh, separate from flashing. Uh, 4.3 camera. If you want to use a 4.3 camera, you just download that and uh, flash the zip. Revert mods. Turn off ad blocker. So if you want to turn it off, you accidentally click it. Uh, miscellaneous apps. We have the Yahoo Widget Swipe Keyboard if you'd like to use those. Samsung apps. If you want the Samsung Hub, you can download that right there. Then he has the kernels. This is stock jelly beans. Sometimes people ask for stock jelly beans after they try it. They have the custom kernels. So that's that. And then that shows you install apps. And you have the settings for this. How many times it checks a day for updates and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So you never have to worry about knowing when a ROM is available. Because he'll push it right to this. And then you can just download it instantly. And then there's the reboot right there. He adds that. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. It adds the call block feature right here. You can add uh, call block, block list, message block, which Verizon stops because they want you to use their paid service to block phone numbers and stuff like that. But uh, Jelly Beans built this into the ROM, make it nice and easy for us. We don't have to deal with that. 
power saving mode's always there because it's stock stock ROM just customized. And everything else is pretty much the same. You still have the one-handed operation if you use the Samsung keyboard. Every, everything else there, motion, S Pen, stuff like that. So, hey guys, I mean, this is easily the best stock TouchWiz ROM available for the Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon. There's other stock ROMs out there, but no one has put this much effort and customization into this ROM. And he updates it usually weekly, so you never have to worry about having to try to get a hold of the developer to worry about when, oh, when is this going to be fixed? Because there's never any problems with these. And if there is a problem, a major problem, he pushes a fix out right away as soon as he can. So by all means, definitely flash this ROM. It's definitely worth it. Definitely the best ROM available. Um, for TouchWiz, I mean, it's different if you're on AOSP. There's some ROMs that you can use on those, but... Uh, you never have to worry about having problems on a TouchWiz ROM because that's what our phones are built for. And um, if you just want smooth interface, you never have to worry about your phone crashing on you and stuff like that. Jelly Beans, Build 21 is definitely where you want to go and definitely flash this. And if you haven't ever flashed a Beans ROM, make this your first ROM to flash. And if you don't have an unlocked phone yet, definitely unlock it just to use this ROM. And you don't have to really know anything about it. It's really simple to do all this stuff. It's right on the XDA website, follow the instructions, and just feel free to thank Beanstown for all the effort he puts into this thing, and I look forward to uh, everything else that he has to do for this ROM. Thank you guys. Hope you enjoy.